about 9.30. Walking around Watuga Lake. At least I think that's the name of it. Had an awesome zero yesterday at um, Boots Off Hostel. Um, great place to uh, to rest. Um, yesterday was the perfect day because it rained and the wind was blowing and it was cold and it was icky. <laughs> but uh, it was a great day at the zero. Um, never amazes me to uh, to find out how awesome some of the people out here on the trail are. Um, they're just trying to finish their dream, you know. Um, some people say it's selfish with all the corona stuff going on. And that's their opinion, and, and it is what it is. I'm not saying who's right and who's wrong, and these videos aren't here to, uh, to get into any part of that argument. But, uh, anyway, the people that are out here are really, really cool. Um, they're just following their dream, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Nothing like yesterday. Um, it's awesome. So, uh, anyway, got about 16 miles to do today. Um, I've done a couple already. But, um, I'm going to take my time, enjoy the day. It's beautiful. So, yeah, that's about it. Yes. Yo, it's dark, pretty close to it, it's about 16 miles a day, a lot up beside that Watuga Lake, it's pretty cool, not much to see, yeah, guess I'll try this again in the morning, when y'all can see me, or maybe this is better, <laughs> anyway, peace. had a great night at Iron Mountain Shelter. Uh, had my hammock set up right outside the shelter. And uh, shoot, you could see down into the valley in some small town out there. Don't know what it was. It's beautiful though. Uh, there was no wind last night. No wind and no rain. So that was beautiful. Uh, kind of like that. I don't know how good that's coming out, but pretty cool. Anyway, did 16 miles yesterday. Got 16 miles to go today. And then uh, a short day the next into a resupply. So Anyway, get climbing this hill right here. Peace. Yo, I am at Abingdon Shelter, which is about 10 miles south of Damascus, which is where I'm going tomorrow morning. Um, had 16 miles today and 16 miles yesterday, but I feel pretty good. Must be getting trail legs. I don't know. Could just be lucky. Might just be the nice weather we had today. Don't know. Speaking of weather, it's supposed to get, I think it's like a 20% chance of rain tonight. We'll see what happens. Um, of course, the wind's picking up. 
but it ain't too bad. Not right now, so hopefully it's going to be a good night. Um, tell you what's pretty awesome right now. It's like a lot of nights I'm at a shelter by myself. There's no one there or either, um, you know, there's... There's only one through hiker I've been seeing a lot here lately, a fellow by the name of Defy. Uh, kind of self-explanatory um, when you think about all the stuff going on. But anyway, he uh, he's a really cool guy, and uh, been seeing him. But other than that, there's been, like, nobody in camp. Um, and tonight, there is, like, a family up the hill there. Um, I guess it's a father and two sons, and... Back here at the shelter, uh, right in front of it, there's a man and his two daughters camping. And of course, I'm here and Defy's right over uh, a little bit up the hill there. And so we got like eight people here. That's the most I've seen at a shelter in a long time, which is pretty cool. It's good to see people back out enjoying the outdoors. So hopefully that'll continue. And um, yeah. I hear uh, everything's good in Damascus. I was a little worried because I've heard of through hikers going through there and people yelling at them saying the AT's closed and, and, and all this. But um, yeah, the AT was never closed. But anyway, so hopefully tomorrow will be a good day. Um, going um, maybe to a hostel or a campground tomorrow there. I don't know. We'll see. Um, get a shower. Uh, wash clothes and resupply. Uh, maybe take a zero. I don't know. I still got a lot of energy, but we'll see how tomorrow goes. Um, speaking of washing, oh my gosh, there's like the trail of death behind the shelter here. It's like straight down for 0.2 miles just to get water. Um, 0.2 mile doesn't seem like a long way, does it? Yeah. Walk up a steep hill for 0.2 miles, you'll realize it's a long freaking way. But anyway, yeah, all's good now. So, yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. Peace. Yo. So, I've tried to make this video several times, but I can't seem to get the words right. So let's see if we can do it right this time. So, when I was, uh, Deciding if I was going to do the trail and quit my job and, and make that major life-altering change. I uh, went running one day and I prayed and I said, Lord, if you would give me a sign if I'm supposed to hike this trail. And make it obvious, please. And I know, well, I don't know, but I believe the Bible says something about only fools ask for signs. Well, I guess maybe I'm a fool because... I needed one, so, but anyway, I was running, and I went to my turnaround point, and when I did, I saw the most beautiful, absolutely beautiful sunset I've probably ever seen in my life. The whole sky was orange and red. Later on, people were talking about it online, how beautiful it was. So I said, I see you, Lord, and then I crested the hill, and, uh, I saw something I've never seen in that stretch where I run. And it was two people wearing backpacking backpacks. And uh, they were actually, one of them was going to do a through hike, one was going to do a section hike. And when I got past them, I said, Lord, I really see you now. He made it very obvious. And uh, so I got on the trail. And then in about a month, the corona pandemic broke out. It was a crazy time. There was uncertainty, um, businesses were closing, um, a lot of us hikers didn't know how we were going to resupply, uh, people were bashing hikers, saying very ugly things, saying that uh, we were out here and we were probably going to be spreading coronavirus up and down through trail towns, and I mean, to each his own, whatever, but um, anyway, uh, I let fear uh, change my decision and, and God's decision for me to do the trail. And I went home. And let me tell you, I was, it was good to see Amy. 
is a lover to death. It's good to see my dog, our dog. <laughs> good to be home. But I was in a bad state of mind. I was miserable. And um, anyway, uh, a month later I'm back and life is good and, and at least I think everything is. But I guess the moral of the story is, you know, if the, the good Lord ever gives you a sign, uh, opens the door for you and and tells you that it is going to happen, believe it. Don't let any person with any words, any circumstances ever change that. Because the good Lord, when he tells you he's got you covered, he does. Um, and the reason I say that is because the people I was hiking with, they're 370 miles ahead of me. And they are doing great. And I don't know that they've had a whole lot of hard problems. If they have, they never told me. And I keep in touch with them. So, um, yeah. I just thought I'd share that with you. To uh, maybe you won't make the same mistakes I did. So, peace. Bye, Felicia. Look at that.